Hi friends, when I draw a portrait, first of all, I draw the symmetrical parts of this. Usually, I begin with the eyebrows, but in this case, this old man has the eyebrows really thin and, um, and without a very definite shape. So, I begin this time drawing the eyes. Once I have the eyes, I'll draw the rest of the face. Many people think that uh, it's better to draw first the oval or the shape of the face, of the entire face. I think I agree too with that method, but for me it's best draw from the eyebrows, nose and eyes and going outward drawing the portrait. You, when you draw a portrait, must uh, look which are the more um, characteristic uh, parts of the face you are portraying. In this case, we see this man has a look, a really expressive look and a big nose. And it is air with many shadows and wrinkles. So I'll draw it first and when I have a sketch that suits for me, then I'll begin with the shadows, but not I don't uh, shadow uh, from one side, from one corner and going on, no. I, I give the shadows part by part uh, symmetrically. Stop. This is graphic power and artistic blending stamp. With it, I can draw the first shadows, the most characteristic shadows. As you see, I am drawing with it, but it, this is not a pencil. It is just paper uh, in a roll. This is a blending, artistic blending stamp. As you can see, the material list I used to do this portrait are in the description of this video below. Okay, some shadows are more difficult than others, but always begin to shadow more under the nose, under the chin, etc. With a mob brush, I extend a generous quantity of graphic power, as you see. This is not the orthodox method to draw a portrait. This is just a way, my way, to draw a portrait like this. I'm not using, I don't use always the same method or way to draw a portrait. I just try, I experiment, because I think a portrait not all, no, not is all, no, it's not a photography, it's an art. You must uh, catch the soul, the soul of the person or the, you are portraying. I think this is the hardest, the hardest uh, point, the hardest goal you must achieve when you draw a portrait. Try to uh, get the personality of that people or that person in your portraits. With uh, a precision, precision uh, eraser like this, I can draw erasing, I can draw white hairs. So this is very useful when we draw people with white hairs. Always uh, eliminate the stains of the eraser with a brush, with a white brush and not with a hand, okay? In this case, I'm using a photography I, uh, I get from internet free of rights, rights free, but I'll, I put a link in the description of this video uh, with the mention of the photographer and the photo in case you wish to download it and to draw it. I'm interpreting, I am 
giving my personal view of this man, this old man. If you see the photo, the, the iris is uh, reflecting many things and you can't see the pupil. It's not, it's not possible. So how can we draw a realistic eye if we can't see the pupil? Well, you cannot, but you can draw what is reflected in the iris. At least the lights, uh, the lights and shadows are reflected in that iris. The white part of the eyes must not be left white. It's better with shadow and gray tones. Away, okay. We have now almost the eyes. For me, the eyes are the most important part of a portrait. All, all the faces important. All. Uh, shapes or shadows or wrinkles are important but the eyes the eyes are the window of the soul and so for me it's very important to draw them as accurate as I can many people use grids on many other uh, tools to translate the uh, proportions and sizes of the portraits from photographies but these methods are not useful when you are drawing from uh, actual people a uh, real people that is in front of you seated so I'm I am accustomed to draw with nothing of these methods I'm not against them but I prefer to draw freehand looking many many times at my photos or at the person I am portraying. With practice you can achieve a very uh, approximate uh, seamless, seamless with the per people you are portraying. Practice is uh, almost the most important the most important secret to draw fine, to draw well. But not only practice, you must learn and see how other artists draw and paint and read and learn as much as you can to achieve a better technique. Practice is the 50%. Learn is the 40%. And the third percent that left is emotion. With emotion, you can achieve whatever goal you have. Well, if you like this video and you wish more like this, click the up thumbs and share with your friends. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And see you soon in the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you like it. Bye!